Most of the Strand Hunter builds you see on YouTube revolve around Sir Tarachne's facade and shifting resources into grapple energy gains via Widow Silk and Grenade Kickstarts, which while strong, in my view, barely scratches the surface of what you can really do with Strand Hunter. You see, the most underrated and genuinely strong aspect of the Strand Hunter kit is none other than its signature melee, the Threaded Spike. Today, I'm going to walk you through exactly why you need to start building into Threaded Spike and showcase an incredible build suitable for even the hardest content in the game. Oh, and did I mention, absolutely no artifact mods are required. So to start with, how does Threaded Spike function? Similar to Withering Blade, the Threaded Spike bounces between enemies and after a short duration returns to the user. If you input your charged melee button at the right moment, you catch the dart and a large amount of melee energy is refunded. Each enemy hit with the dart increases the amount of energy returned, but the important thing to remember is that you must catch the dart, because in all cases this over doubles the energy gain compared to not catching it. Furthermore, the dart applies the sever debuff to each enemy hit, making them deal 40% less damage to you for 10 seconds. Now onto the build itself, starting with subclass configuration. The first crucial piece to make this build work is having Gambler's Dodge equipped, because when performed near enemies, it grants your full melee charge back. For your grenade, I would still highly encourage the grapple grenade, as you can freely grapple to a Whirling Maelstrom for infinite grapple melees, plus the added movement is very nice to have. For aspects, you will want Whirling Maelstrom for the strong add clear and constant unravel procs, and for your second, you will need Threaded Spectre, which with the buff it received this season is now absurdly strong for survivability, tanking a ton of damage and instantly causing any enemies within a large radius to laser focus on it. As far as fragments go, this is where we deviate slightly from other popular builds. First, since we aren't using Sir Tarachne, we need to be using Thread of Warding to give us Woven Mail when we pick up an Orb of Power. Next, we have the most mandatory fragment, this being Thread of Fury, which grants an escalating amount of melee energy based on tangle damage, and for reference, if you manage to hit three enemies with a tangle, you should get your full charge back. Next, we have Thread of Generation, which despite its nerf, is still pretty good for regenerating our grapple energy, but if you want, you can sub this out for a stat boosting fragment instead. Finally, I have Thread of Ascent, mainly for the mobility boost, because as I'll explain shortly, you need as high mobility as possible, but the added reload function and handling boost just makes your whole loadout feel a lot more snappy, which I'm quite a big fan of. Though again, you can swap this for a more functional fragment if you'd like. Moving on to gear and stats, this build revolves solely around melee uptime, hence why we're using the 6th Coyote, which enables us to have two gambler's dodges, which means in any situation where we don't have a melee back, we have two dodges in reserve to regenerate it should we need it. Because of this, prioritize getting as high mobility as possible while also keeping your resilience as high as possible. After that, you can build the rest of your stats into discipline. Moving on to the mods, you can pause or take a screenshot to copy the layout shown on screen, but I do want to briefly touch on some of the choices. First of all, hands-on is a given since we're going to be getting a lot of melee kills, plus harmonic siphon pairs really nice with quicksilver storm. Second, you're obviously going to want heavy-handed to generate orbs from melee kills, then focusing strike for the class ability gains on melee hit, which if you didn't know, also triggers on grapple melee usage since grapple melees count as both a grenade and melee ability. Then we have melee kickstart, which with one copy and three armor charges grants 31% of our melee back, meaning if we manage to have three armor charges before we throw our threaded spike, we only need to hit three enemies in order to fully recharge it. Continuing this thread, at base, without any armor charge, melee kickstart provides 12.9% melee energy back, and say you hit 4 enemies with threaded spike, this grants 85% energy, so even without armor charge, a single unoptimal melee throw gives 97.9% of our melee back, and that last 2.1% we can easily get by either throwing a tangle, picking up an orb, and so on. So the loop really feeds itself. Closing things off, stacks on stacks is quite nice to have to increase the melee kickstart gains, invigoration also provides a nice 10% melee energy on orb pickup. Finally, the two best mods to run on your class item are Reaper and Powerful Attraction, Reaper making the orb generation process incredibly easy since you're going to be dodging so often, and Powerful Attraction for the hassle-free woven mail procs. As far as weapons go, take your pick from either Final Warning or Quicksilver Storm, but for me personally I prefer Quicksilver because it's such a fun weapon to use that's also really good in the endgame. Plus it's anti-barrier auto this season, so can't go wrong there. Finally, I will briefly touch on Artifact Synergy, but do remember that this build can definitely stand on its own two feet without it. As of patch 7.2.0.5, Monochromatic Maestro now works properly with Strand, so definitely use this mod now in combination with Frenzied Stacks, which serves only to increase the damage of your Whirling Maelstrom. You can also choose to run the rest of the Elemental Orb lineup in Column 4, but it's really up to you. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed my take on Strand Hunter, and fingers crossed we get a melee boosting exotic soon, because that will really push this build to the next level. Bye for now, dear viewer.